Cup Squad, Papa Bear is back. Don't worry, baby, I'm back. I've been gone for a while. Uh, regular uploading absolutely out the fucking window. Been busy, work, broken foot, lots of things going on in, in, in the DCB's life. The Don't Care Bear. But Cub Squad, I'm back. I'm, uh, I'm ready to open up some more product for the channel. Hopefully you're going to get in on, on some of these. But first, let me just congratulate uh, last month's winner. Or actually, it was almost two months ago. Uh, that would be Crypt6, who entered in the giveaway and won a Pokemon Elite Trainer box. So, uh, Crypt6, thank you very much for entering. Congratulations. And that Elite Trainer box is being shipped out this Friday. Um... I, whenever this video comes out, hopefully it'll be the Friday after that. So, look forward to that, Crypt6. Thank you again. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And everyone else, keep listening, watching, subscribing, sharing for, you know, more updates. And, of course, I'm going to do another giveaway. However, let's get right into the meat of the episode, shall we? First things first, Pokemon, the TCG game, the, uh, the, new, the new expansion, the Elite Trainer Box for Team Up. I actually scooped up this bad boy. One of the hyper rare sad in my collection. I have a horrible, horrible pull rate when it comes to getting these. I've yet to pull one out of an actual pack. So that's the hyper rare Eevee and Snorlax GX. If you haven't seen the team up box, you're really missing out. The new team up cards are fantastic. You got little Eevee up here in the corner, Snorlax, and there's a couple other team ups in the set. So I picked that up to add to my collection. So I'm going to throw that back here. And if we get any in today's episode, we'll put them back there with him. So I have my uh, my new desk, which I'll show off in a future update. But this is what you're here for, right? The Pokemon Sun and Moon team up. This is, I believe, the tenth expansion. Came out early in February. So it's got Zekrom and Pikachu on the front. And just flip it around, just like we always do. I'll read the little description here. Tag Team Pokemon GX are here, brand new cards that feature paired up and powered up Pokemon. The Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon Team Up Expansion offers amazing battle teams like Pikachu and Zekrom GX, Eevee and Snorlax GX, hint hint nudge nudge, Gengar and Mimikyu GX, plus even more Pokemon GX, Lycanroc GX, Hoopa GX, Cobalion GX, and others. When teams put their moves into motion, it's a total free-for-all. Check out the awesome action dynamic duos in Sun and Moon team-up expansion. And just like every other TCG box, for the Elite Trainers, you get 8 packs, 65 card sleeves, 45 energy, the Player's Guide, Damage counter dice, one competition dice, two acrylic markers, a collector's box, which is the actual box, and a code, which I'll obviously give away. Um, that being said, fuck you, phone. That being said, let's just open this up. I've got my exacto knife just to eliminate the struggle, because the struggle is real. So anyway, all my Cub Squad members, DCB is curious how you've been. What is going on? Hopefully you guys are scooping up some of these new packs, these new box, and getting some good pulls. So let me know in the comment below if you've gotten anything good out of this set, if you've bothered getting the set, if you're skipping the set, I want to know. Alright, so we have the outer box, I'll move that, we got the trainer box portion, we got the useless cardboard, we'll just take all that, throw that aside. And this is what you're here for. We got our sleeves, got Zekrom and Pikachu. We got our energy cards. We'll leave those in the box. Here is the code card. So you guys can have that. And what else we got here? You got your markers. You got your die. I actually really like the color of the die in this set. They always do such a great job with all the different color coding. We'll throw that in there. You have your dividers. And, of course, you got your packs. So let's take that. Take our soft sleeves, put those to the side. 
just take a, a quick peek at this manual here. I know I said in previous episodes I wasn't going to use these anymore, but I want to just get an idea of what's in the set. So we go right to the back, and you got the Gengar and Mimikyu at the bottom there. Very nice. Ampharos GX. We got our Pikachu and Zekrom right there at the top. Pretty, pretty nice sets. We the Prism Star cards make a return. And just look at our Hyper Rares and Trainer cards. Uh, I believe the most valuable card in this set is the Erica's Hospitality. It would be very nice to pull one of those. You have a Latios and Latios GX. Um, full art card. God damn it, phone, go away. The Brock's Grit looks awesome up there in the corner. Very, very nice card. So let's let's hop right into this. I am very excited. I cannot wait to get it in this. And we gotta get some hard sleeves just in case we get something cool. So put our hard sleeves over to the side. Open up our soft sleeves. Alright, so we'll take a couple of these when we need them, put those in over there. Yeah, let's look at the pack artwork. Alright, so you got Snorlax and Eevee, Mimikyu and Gengar, Zekrom and Pikachu. Pikachu looking absolutely, absolutely like a giant stud. Ooh, Venusaur and Celebi. Nice combination. Yeah, these combinations are very, very unique, that's for sure. I mean, they make sense. You got two normals, two um, electric, two grass, and two ghosts. So that's cool. So let's just, in no particular order, let's just dig right into these. Okay, so just open that up. And go. Cocard. One, two, three, and four to the front. All right, so we start off this pack with a Fire Energy, a Lowland Graveler, Nita, our boy Tauros, looking like an act, like a, oof, looking like a, like a, like a giant unit. Look at that, <laughs> big boy, Litten, Zora, we got Weedle. Joltik, Blitzel, I love that artwork on Blitzel, I love the cartooniness to it, That's very awesome. We get a Reverse Hollow Nidoran female, and we get Muck, the disgusting cum dumpster that is Muck, look at that little giant pile of semen. Let's get a, a soft case for our, our Nidoran female. Put her to the side, and let's get right into the next pack. So we'll do a Gengar and Mimikyu. Alright. There. And we give away the code card. And we do one, two, three, four to the front. All right. Start off this one with the Fairy Energy. Kabuto, Nita, Nidorina. Let's go with our Nidorina female. Lit in Imolga, looking like an absolute stud. Look at this little man, huh? Pretty awesome. I actually really like Imolga, the, the addition to the, the Chu family, the electric rodent. We got Mareep. We got Vulpix with that old school looking artwork. Very nice. And another Joltik. A reverse hollow Alolan Geodude. I love those two, that claymation look to it. Very, very nice. And we end this pack with a, a holographic electrode. Very, very awesome. And, and wow, they're really pulling out all the different artworks. You got that cartoony, that claymation, and you got the, the crocheted Pokemon. Look at that. Very, very awesome. Let's 
get some soft sleeves for Mr. Electrode. I was never really, really uh, the biggest Electrode fan. I just, I thought it was kind of a, oh look, I didn't even realize it, but you got Voltorbs in the back of that picture. Very, very cool. Yeah, I was never really a big Electrode fan. I thought it was kind of a, a cheap way, but it is a pretty cool idea when you think about it. The idea of finding a Pokemon that looks like a Pokeball. All right, so we got that. We'll throw our Electrode in a hard case. All right, so put that over here. And we'll look at all those at the end. We'll go over our loot. All right, move on to Zekrom and Pikachu. Still hoping for a, uh, a GX card. Hopefully our first Rainbow Rare would be nice. All right, take this code card off the bag. There you go. And we do one, two, three, four to the front. My phone is going absolute ape shit. Don't know what's going on here. All right, we start off this one with an electric energy, uh, Kangaskhan, Nidorina, Sabrina suggestion, cool looking trainer card, Pancham Clamation, very nice, a Ferro Seed. There's a Pokemon you don't see every day. Uh, Pidgeotto. Let's uh, let's cue in the Pidgeotto soundbite, shall we? Get a Charmander, very adorable. Star you, that old school artwork again. A Reverse Hollow Brox Grit, very cool looking Reverse Hollow. We end this pack with a regular Starmie Rare. Okay, so we got a little Star You action, a little Starmie action. I can dig it. Going old school, the original 151. Not too bad, not too shabby. But we we want some better pulls than this. Come on, Pokey Gods. Does anybody remember the Pokey Guards? Are you old enough to remember that? Everybody wanted to give Charizard a fourth evolution. Gave him I think you actually gave his name was Charcoal. People were calling him. Which is ironic, because eventually you had the item Charcoal introduced to the Pokemon game. But, anyway, let's take, oh, I fucked up, shit. There you go, and we're not even going to bother doing a code trick or the card trick because we know we didn't get one Voltor with that old school energy, Clef Key, Charmander, Mankey, Spirit Tomb as a Reverse Hollow, we get an Alolan Muck for our rare. Get the Grass Energy, Jinx, Hitmonlee, and a Dana. But we are going to sleeve up that Spirit Tomb Reverse Hollow. I can't believe I messed that up. I did the first three right, and of course the fourth one I goof up. All right. Let's just take a look at that Alolan Muck real quick. So not only do we have the Cum Dumpster Muck, we have the Rainbow Cum Dumpster. If your jizz looks like that, you should probably probably see a doctor. Just as an FYI from your boy, your favorite bear bro, the DCB, baby. So we get into the next pack. We're going to Venusaur and Celebi. We're going right back to the beginning. And... Come on, we gotta get something better in here. So we're gonna do code card. We'll do one, two, three, four to the front. All right, hopefully we can get something good here. All right, so we start off this pack with a darkness energy, a dublade, a dublade. We got a fluffy, a Morgan, a Blitzel, and another adorable starter Pokemon, Squirtle, Tentacool, Paris, uh, Ponyard. Very interesting card. Ooh, look at that old school. Execute. Exec. 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 Execute. There we go. And we end this pack with a non hollow Galvantula. Actually, that might be one of my favorite bug type behind Scyther. I really like the design for Galvantula. 
But that is a pretty cool reverse hollow. Uh, amazing that the only thing we've gotten so far is the regular hollow electrode. I really hope my bad pokey luck, my, my Pokemon card pull luck, is not gone. It was just coming back, and I think things aren't looking good. We got three packs to turn it around. So we're going to do, let's do the Pikachu Zekrom next. I really, really hope my luck is not gone because they have so many awesome cards coming out. All right, so we get the code card for you guys. And take our one, two, three, four to the front. All right, and we start off this pack with a Steel Energy, uh, Tora Cat, Kabuto, Nidorino, Paris, a Volibee. There's a card we haven't seen or gotten yet. A Pidgey. Very, this cartoon artwork is fantastic. Way to go, Pokemon. A Hone Edge to go with our Dew Blade. Nidoran. A Meowth Reverse Hollow Rare. Actually, I really like that card. That looks awesome. And we end this pack with. I got money in the bank. Oh, what did we get, baby? What did we get? Oh, right. Whew. 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 It's about time, baby. It's about time. All right. Yes, my first tag team card. Gengar and Mimikyu GX. That is not a full art, but check that out. What a beauty of a card. Let's leave that fucker up, shall we? Mmm. All right, so throw Mr. Mr. Gengar and Mimikyu right inside of this hard case. This is now your house. Very, very cool. So we'll put that card over to the back. Very excited, and we still have two packs left to go. Very awesome. All right. Let us grab our next pack. Oh, we got we to we sleeve up our reverse hollow meowth. How could I forget? Throw that, that fucking stone bitch right in there. Mm, very awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, I was getting nervous. I really was. I was hoping we got something more than just a regular hollow. All right, all right. And we are going to do our card trick. That is for you. Enjoy that. And we are going to do one, two, three, and four to the front. And we start this pack with a Fighting Energy, a Spirit Tomb, a Viridian Forest, Tentacruel, Stardew, a Honage, a, a different Weedle munching, munching on some goodies, munching on that, that, that leaf. And Dratini, this card is definitely from another set. I've seen that. But look at look at how thick. Dratini looking needs to go on a diet. Adorable little thick Dratini though. A Lowland Grimer looking whew. Look at that artwork. That is that is one hell of a fascinating grimer, that's for sure. And we get an Alolan Execute. Uh, oh god, I'm retarded. An Alolan Executor. Reverse Hollow Rare. Very, very awesome. I love the artwork on that card. That's so cool. We end this pack with a regular Aerodactyl Rare. Non-hollow. But that uh that's an awesome reverse hollow pull. Very, very cool. Let's take him to sleeve him up. That that might be better than some hollows that I've ever pulled. That's cool. I like that. And we are down to our last pack. Can we pull something awesome out of this pack? <sighs> so we got one GX, one Hollow, and hopefully we can get something good out of this pack too. All right. So let's start with doing the code card. Throw that over there. And we do one, two, three, four to the front. And we shall start with a fire energy. 
a Fairy Charm UB. Um, Ultra Band, Ultra Bracelet, something, I don't really know. Uh, War Turtle, very awesome looking card. Uh, Pupitar, Magikarp, haven't seen you yet. Welcome to the welcome to the gang, Magikarp. Uh, Poochiana, another Alolan Geodude with that Claymation. A Bronzor, very cool. A um, different variation on Dratini, not nearly as thick as our other Dratini. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't expect to pull a Prism Star. Um, very nice. Very, very nice color. I like that a lot, actually. Uh, Black Market. I like the Ring of Fire. It almost looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. But, uh, that's very cool. I'll definitely take that. And we end it with a Pangoro. That is an awesome looking Pangoro. Look at that fist up in the moon. It's gonna punch the moon right out the sky. Ooh, very, very cool. Let's leave up this Black Market card, shall we? Right, throw you right in there. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm not disappointed whatsoever. Very happy to end on a, a high note like that. That's for damn sure. So let's take a look at our loot, shall we? All right, we're going to start with our reverse hollows. So we start this one with that really nice Alolan Executor. Very cool Meowth. Execute a Spirit Tomb. Get the Brock's Grit Reverse Hollow. I'd love to get a full art of this card. That would be pretty sick. The Alolan Geodude Claymation. And the Nidoran Female. So those are the Reverse Hollows. Very, very cool. Now, oh, I knocked my camera over. Whoopsie. Let's fix that. And let's take a look at our our precious loot that we have here. So we have an Electrode regular hollow rare. We get the Gengar and Mimic UGX. I really, really am happy with that. That is a awesome, awesome card. It almost doesn't even look hollow, but it doesn't have to. Look how sinister they both look. I love it. Mm. And we ended it with a Prism Star Black Market. Very, very nice. I'm very happy with those pulls, actually. Damn. Let's put our, our favorite boy in the front. But yeah, that's pretty awesome, Cub Squad. So that's the Sun and Moon Team Up GX box right there. You pick that up anywhere that sells the Pokemon trading card game. I actually got mine at GameStop on a, uh, a special. It was a couple bucks off. I think I had a coupon. But yeah, Cubbies, so that's uh, that's the Sun and Moon team up. These are my three best pulls. Comment down below which one did you enjoy the most? Which one do you think is the coolest? My money's on that Gengar and uh, Mimic UGX. It might not be worth a hell of a lot, but that's definitely a really sick card. But yeah, that is so badass. I'm very happy with that. Mmm. And just take one more quick peek because I knew that I wasn't going to... I mean, I didn't really know, but my, my luck has just not been great with these Hyper Rares. I've been better off buying them single. I actually managed to get this one at Kerwin's. Um, I've referenced them in a couple videos, but they had a, a, a $5 off sale. And I managed to scoop him up for 15 bucks, And I just love the way that card looks. I hope I can actually complete this set. And Cub Squad, I got one more cool thing to show you. <laughs> And this actually goes back, I just found it, I didn't know where I put it, but that is a Zekrom, Zekrom EX full art card that is, I don't, I don't know what set it's from, but uh, my roommate actually picked this up for me as a Christmas present, and I haven't really gotten a chance to show it off. So, check that out. It goes great because of the Sun and Moon team-up with Zekrom and Pikachu on the front. But that is a pretty cool promo or I don't know if it's promo or from a pack, but I just love the color. That dark blue, that black, the, the gold highlight. Very, very cool. But there you have it, Cub Squad. That's my Elite Trainer box. I am very happy with my pulls. Comment down below once again, what was your favorite card that I pulled, Cub Squad? Thank you for watching this video. Share it, like it, subscribe if you haven't already. As always, Cub Squad, be yourself, be happy. Don't give a fuck what other people say about you. You only live once. So do what you want to do. 
Do it. Have fun. Be yourself. This is your favorite bear, bro. The DCB baby. The don't care bear. Coming at you live from the bear cave. Signing off, cubbies. Thank you.